you talk about layering and I, I, I love the create the creative aspect, but you have to be a great business person to, to get your creativity out there. And so can you talk about some of the importance around taking your concept and then making your concept multiply, right? Not just a, not just a song, but a book, not just a book, but a book and then video. Like, can you talk a little bit about the way you think about amplifying and multiplying your assets? Yes. Well, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you're not really reinventing the wheel. You're looking at those who have been successful before you and you're seeing how can I replicate that? I mean, Disney's been doing it for years. Um, other studios have been doing it for years. But personally, for me, I, I do do the research. I, um, David and I both, we our due diligence with what is the highest level and how can we get there and what are the tools that we need um I, our our lighting designer you know i always found it pretty frustrating when i would watch films and i noticed that how we are lit is not properly done you know we don't look our true shades that we look you know sometimes the, our complexion can look a little green or grainy and the lighting isn't set for us so it's very important for me to talk to our lighting director about things like that and what things do we need to do to adjust that because we are going to have these gorgeous shades so there's so many levels that you have to pay attention to and i'm a i'm a tv and movie buff as well uh as karen so you know it just it's it's implementing all of those things that I see and seeing how can I do this? How can I make this mine? How can I do it this way? And from the business perspective, um, com coming from theater and really doing our own thing where there were no rules, you know, from the front door to the back door, not only are we handling on the stage, but we're handling concessions, we're making t-shirts, we're figuring out how to market, you know, we're going across the country and on radio stations and TV. So, it's, it's, I feel like we've always had that marketing mind and David actually uh, graduated with a degree in marketing from Morgan State University. So um, we, we're always thinking of what are ways to layer it? You know, what are ways to make it better? And with a piece like this, I too want it to be a classic. So how can I do that? We need books, we need toys, we need, you know, all of these things because I just want these images to live forever. Is there going to be a buddy, a buddy we're toy? On yes, huh? we're working on that. Yes, okay. we're working on that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Listen, I, I love that. I, I just want to point out to our to our audience too that Netflix isn't doing this out of benevolence, right? Black households have steadily increased subscriptions to streaming services from 65% in 2019 to 70% in 2020. We are the audience that everybody is looking at. There's a reason why diversity is showing up on TV and it is not because people just won't be nice to black folks. It is because we are the audience, we have the power, we are making these platforms go and our content is what is driving and drawing people to the platforms bar none. The top 20 advertiser spend on media focused on black folks has increased from 3.34 from 3.34 billion in 2011 to 3.86 billion in 2019. That's a 16% increase in what the top 20 advertisers are spending to reach black people. They are spending that money to reach us because we are important. That's right. That is right, Drew. And that's a big reason why we do this because we have to control another side of it is not only just the buying power, but it's also the selling power. And at the same time, you know, worldwide, you know, there's there when, when we did this, we filmed this movie eight months in London and I'm speaking to a whole nother culture of, of black people in Europe where they don't even have access to what we have access to here. So it's, it's showing across the board and across the world that um, th this market dollar matters. And we spend the most, as you say, especially on products and things like that. But why don't we have, why aren't we putting up money for films and doing different things like that. We partnered with a hair company that's black owned by Monique Rodriguez, Mayel, 
organics. So we partnered with them because that's another layer of, of making sure that black hair is taken care of in the filming industry, which is a big mm -hmm. problem. You know, a, lo a lot of the women, their hair is being pulled out. It's not being taken care of because the stylists on set are not educated. You know, there was one black department head that I found in London that, and that's it. No, uh, no others. It's not but like- But now that we're in this position, we can demand that, right? right. Um, and then one last thing before I let you go, the, the how, do, how do we make an impact? Do we have to keep clicking on it? Like, how, does, that, does that matter? Yes, if we click keep clicking on it, on it, give it the thumbs up, watch it all the way through because they pay attention to everything. Tell friends to, to watch it on not just your friend's account because Lord knows about eight, 20 of us are on one account. You know, <laughs> that's just normal. <laughs> we, Tell we all know. Um, so, but just watch it, give it the thumbs up, tell a friend, share with everyone, um, you know, get the books. Um, and just if you show the support and you're showing it on social media and talking about it in the media, it makes an impact. And we're grateful because people see that it's a classic.